was like an anniversary movie. It was a very personal movie for me because um, we are very close to the Rabin family and we are very close to the Paris family. And uh, I think 20 years that has passed uh, made it very important to remember what happened. And unfortunately we see this year that people don't treat the murder uh, the way it should be. Um, people do not see the dangers in our democracy these days uh, and they were trying not to, to celebrate the anniversary so in the end people from their own initiative celebrated it. So, um, and because Rabin was such an introvert person, um, but I think through this film you can see him in his simplicity and strength and at the same time you see how um, under, you know, like the movement, uh, but still today, um, of Jewish people who do want, don't want to have peace and, and they will do anything they can to destroy the peace. So what's uh, happening with the murder now? Because we see um, events from uh, 95 uh, and how is he doing now? Uh, the murder of uh, uh, Yitzhak Rabin. Well, uh, our protagonist of the film um, the hints of it when uh, we see the scene between him and his wife, but apparently he got he got traumatized by the murder of of Itzhak Rabin, and he was he was really suffering for many years. Um, and today his mission, what he does today after he left the uh, um, the uh, his organization, that he's lecturing and talking about it, and talking about the, the, the fact that he wants to save the democracy and want to bring peace, so the effect of what has happened was very strong on him. But unfortunately, um, you know, these days, it, it's interesting because, you know, I, there was a group in Israel many years ago that was a satire group, and they made a lot of, like a satire, what will happen in 20 years' time when Igal Amir, the murderer, will, will get free. Um, and today, you know, Igal Amir is not free, but there are all kind of talks, you know, it was a conspiracy and, and there were no demonstrations, you know, and it wasn't, somebody in Israel from the parliament said it wasn't a political murder. So, this is dangerous. Uh, and I think it's important um, with film like this to see that, that what happened was real. Um, and the danger exists, uh, even today. But did you uh, think of talking to him as well and to include it uh, in the movie? Or is it impossible? Well, there was a movie being made about Igal Amir. Um, they talked to his wife, and he's got a kid, and his family. Um, well, I've been a producer for many years. And before I have uh, my obligation to the audience, I have obligation to the world. And I think to give a man like this opportunity uh, to be on a film, it, it's a mistake. Um, so I, I wouldn't choose to do that. And I think the opportunity that I had, because many films were being made about, about uh, Itzhak Rabin from different angles, but to, this was a very specific angle that wasn't told yet from a personal person who knew Yitzhak Rabin that he actually congratulated him in, in his, uh, at his wedding and at the same time he felt guilty and the whole organization feels guilty that they didn't do their job and they didn't do their job. So, so that was a good opportunity for us and I think he's a strong character. It's very difficult to make documentaries in Israel like any, um, any other countries and we have like uh, three major foundations and the Rabinovich Foundation is one of the big ones. Um, actually, this film was, there was a bid for a film about Rabin that was a combination of uh, one of the commercial channels, Channel 10, and the Rabinovich Foundation. And there was submitted about uh, 40 films, 
and we were chosen to be uh, to be the one film. Um, and it's it's always um, nice when you you get uh, sponsored by a fund because it will it's enable you to make uh, uh, a film. And as you saw in this documentary, uh, we we uh, did some illustrations and. Um, you want to make your uh, filmography uh, very specific and it was very dramatic. So, you know, today you can make a documentary for $100 as well. Um, so it's interesting, you can have the whole range, but, but it's good to have money for research. And uh, uh, just a funny incident, we were trying to interview Champagne, you know, the guy that was inside. Um, and apparently he lives next door to our director but he was escaping, he didn't want to be interviewed, and I think he's not allowed to be interviewed. So that was a funny, uh, we tried to meet him, and then he said he would come, and then he came, and then he disappeared, and in the end nothing happened. If we wanted, we could have tried to film him, but, but I think we'll get into trouble with the government. Uh, you've mentioned the uh, researching. Uh, was it difficult to um, kind of find and uh, uh, convince those uh, agents who were working on the case uh, 20 years ago to, to be in the movie? Well, you touched a very, very important point. We tried to get um, a cooperation of the Shabak, of the organization, with the film. And we knew that they made one day that they brought everybody that were involved and all the Shabak to a, like a day of working and getting some uh, um, interesting views of what happened, why it happened, but they won't get it to me. And I've been nagging them and we had meetings like 10 meetings through a year and we were trying to get the permission to film some other people and they didn't give it to us. In the end, we, have to go through, we had to go through censorship. They, they said, okay, you can show the film, but they never gave it in writing. So I thought maybe it will come one day and they'll arrest me, but it didn't happen, so, so it's okay. So, um, yeah, it was very difficult. The research was very difficult to find the people that would speak about it. Because, you know, the importance of the secrecy of um, the Shabak is, is, is more important than the film. So, uh, has it uh, been uh, shown in uh, TV in uh, Israel? Yes, it was shown on TV, it was very successful, it got very good ratings. Um, it was, I don't know why the Polish uh, probably liked this film, because it was also in Walsha in a film a couple of months ago, and the director was there, and in other festivals, but um, yeah, I think, uh, well, you know, when you make a film, I know every frame of the film uh, as a producer, but I haven't seen this film for a, about a year, and I enjoyed it now. <laughs> but it, but but it's it's hard work. It's hard work because uh, we were dependent on one character, and and luckily the character was was very strong because uh, unless he would be so, um, you know, would, would, would take part in it and would give everything he can because it was important to him. I don't think we could have made this film.